this year you have only six million set up uh, we are eating a slight curry part sprugos a traveling kind of soup for the same meal now uh, we have to know about the using or about the knowledge of how to use the slack type of sprugos or my traveling microscope so uh, if you have any doubt about the using or uh, how to use this you can view it another video or another video getting this now uh, we know that in industry the stress proportional to stress and if the stress is longitudinal stress then this proportional to constant is called your modular that is the y equals to longitudinal stress by strain so for a beam or cantilever this is the uh, general equation or working formula that is y equals to g and q by 4 bt to a by n uh, in our equation g is the gravitational acceleration that is 9.8 meter per cm square l is the length and b is the breadth of this uh, beam and d is the depth of this beam and m and l is the if we apply a mass m as a load mg and then this beam bend or downward uh, go downward uh, in a slight difference so this slight difference or slight down, uh, downward change is called depression that is L due to corresponding M. So first, how to measure the value of L? Very simple, I have the meter scale and uh, put, uh, take the measurement from 9 base to this 9 base. Uh, in our experiment, this is 80 point something. So this is our L. Uh, we have to take several times, uh, 3 or 4 times. Uh, second is that how to measure B? So just in the slide calipers, we already know that slide calipers has a list count uh, 0.01 cm. So just uh, put this slide calipers like this and take uh, this value as a several point. Uh, so it is like 2.7 as a main scale and minus scale is about uh, 4. So our rating is that 2.7 plus. 0.0014 cm. Now uh, we have to take the value of uh, D to depth. So we are using the screw gas. We know that screw gas has a screw pitch 0.001 cm. So just pull the screw gas like this and take the main scale reading that is 4 mm, that is 0.4 cm. And as uh, so Sample scale is about 52, so our sample rating should be 50 into 0 0.01 cm. So my total it is 0.4 plus 50 into 0 0.01 cm. And take in mind this is very thin. So if we uh, make an error 0.1 or then error should total error should be changed as a 3 times more, that is 3 into 0.1. So be careful and take several readings, means uh, you can take uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. Okay. And finally, we are we can use load. So first we are writing this as a m by l separately, but multiplying this because we are not interested to measure l for a particular game. We are interested that take the average value so just change the value of m that is uh, you can use the uh, changing mass as a increasing load that is take uh, 0.5 kg 1 kg 1.5 kg 2 kg and measure corresponding l then uh, obviously we can plot uh, the variable uh, m independent variable and dependent uh, variable L along y axis then obviously we can plot a graph from this graph we can measure the slope L by L and we need L by L so obviously M by L is the so in uh, 1 by slope of the M versus L graph so how to measure L so initially this is a traveling microscope there should be a mechanism if you have any doubt about the imaging this then you obviously uh, give another video how to use this so now uh, i think you are all familiar with this uh, traveling microscope 
So select uh, this is a point in a place at the middle, and we are focusing this traveling uh, microscope uh, to a deep point. Means uh, like the crosswire, yeah, our uh, microscope crosswire uh, should be like this. Means this is the like, this is the tip of this instrument, uh, and this is the crosswire. So crosswire should be like this. So take this reading uh, from the vernier scale mean scale. And if we use a low, then this point should be go downward. Then just tighten this uh, back screw and uh, move this uh, telescope so to downward or our traveling microscope to downward. Okay. So, so let this is the second position where this point is fixed. Then there will be another reading. Suppose the first reading is uh, 2.7 cm and second reading is 1.2 cm. So basically the deflection length is 2.7 minus 1.2 cm. So again if we change another load, then we can also variation. When suppose this is 1 kg, then next should be 1.5 kg. Then this should also change to downward and take the value. Suppose this is x3. So clearly we can say that if the horizontal or no load position has a value x0 and second for 0.5 kg is 1 or something or in x1, next x2 or x3. Then obviously the length is x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2, x0 minus x3. So finally we can find the L for different L and just plot it and make a graph and get slope. Slope gives the L by L. So from the value of slope we can put 1 by slope as a value. So putting this value we can find.